the legend of Johnny Appleseed, who historically spent part of his journey here in Pennsylvania, draws the image of a man tossing about apple seeds that would then grow into apple trees. Appleseed, his real name, John Chapman, actually developed nurseries, laying the groundwork for today's apple industry. But his work didn't produce the fruit you're used to buying in markets today. Apple trees grown from seed are called naturals. They produce a standard 30-foot tree and can take about eight to 10 years to produce fruit. But those apples won't often be the sweet, delicious fruit best for eating, cooking, and baking. Instead, these sour apples are popular for making hard cider, or in early colonial times, applejack. Today's apple growers depend on fruit tree nurseries to supply their crop, choosing from an ever-growing number of newly developed apple varieties, as well as our familiar standards, and also heirloom varieties from the past. Instead of seeds, today's farmers employ a form of grafting called chip budding to create new apple trees using rootstocks and buds. Apple rootstocks, which are basically a neutral tree trunk, are planted in late spring in Pennsylvania. The rootstock determines the physical characteristics of the tree, including dwarfing, or height, and diameter. In August, buds are gathered by cutting new growth from healthy adult trees of a desired variety. These branches, or budwood, have buds at the base of the leaves that determine what type of apples will grow on the new tree. After cutting the budwood from the trees, care is taken to remove the leaves, including the leaf stems, without damaging the buds themselves. One branch typically has an average of 10 buds, approximately one inch each in length. The prepared budwood is taken to the nursery field where crews of two to three people will graft the trees. The first crew member carefully uses a knife to make a cut in the rootstock and then matches the bud to the cut. A second crew person has two jobs. First, to inspect the cut and, if done well, to cover the section of the rootstock with tying tape. Nurseries often use a clear tape that protects and keeps the area moist while allowing in light so that the bud and rootstock can grow as one into an apple tree. 